Thanksgiving dinner, Numbers by the Year, a six-episode-long series doing what I do best, doing the math, analyze consumption statistics, waste statistics, and prices for each menu item one year at a time. So sit back, relax, and don't touch that mouse if you're interested enough. Hello everybody, I am Brian Mullins the Fox, your delightful host. Welcome back to Thanksgiving Dinner Numbers by the Year 1986 to 2021. This is the series finale, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode of the series, we will recap it, summarize it, and move on to the next point. The process of doing all this research and the math has been tiring, exhausting, but entirely worth it. Writing the script for each episode has been a hell of a journey. Getting the text-to-speech bots to do my part when it comes to the prices of all these Thanksgiving dinner menu items every year from 1960 to 2021 was not an easy feat. Text-to-speech bot Justin reads things a little sloppy, maybe a bit choppy. And finally, text-to-speech bot Matthew incorrectly reads the prices as $x.xx, but it's close enough so it doesn't really matter all that much. But regardless of all those minor verbal shortcomings from the text-to-speech bots, Justin and Matthew, I made all the points of the series clear. In fact, here are all the things we've learned in this series. Number one, we've learned the average price for each Thanksgiving dinner menu item from 1960 to 2021. Two, we've learned how many turkeys and hams that were consumed for Thanksgiving from 1986 to 1989. The same goes for 1960 to 1985 as well. Number three, we've learned how many turkeys and hams that were consumed on Thanksgiving from 1990 to 1999. Number four, we've learned how many turkeys and hams that were consumed for Thanksgiving from 2000 to 2009. Number five, we learned how many turkeys and hams that were consumed for Thanksgiving from 2010 to 2019. Number six, we finished learning how many turkeys and hams that were consumed in both 2020 and 2021. Number seven, we have learned the average price of a 10% Thanksgiving dinner for 1990 to 2021. Number eight, Thanksgiving is a much better time and opportunity for American consumers, even Canadian ones too, to eat hams and turkeys than any other holiday in the past up to present day. Much better than Christmas alone, alongside with Easter, can't even pretend to be. Number nine, I went off on a passionate rant to hammer home the points of all of this. And finally, number 10, I have been your delightful host, Ryan Mullins the Fox, signing off. See you in the next miniseries I may randomly start producing or starting the production of. Bye.
so live. 